Hello everyone, I have a new pen and as you've already read from the title, it is a Caveco Bronze Sport. So here it is, beautiful little pen that looks probably very familiar. It is shaped just like all the other sports, however it is made of bronze. The Caveco Brass Sport has long been my favorite fountain pen. And honestly, this has been a hard one to beat. <laughs> and when the bronze came out, I was really excited about the material. And then I saw the pictures and was like, mm, I'm not that excited anymore. And I decided that I wasn't going to get it. But then I'm gonna blame a friend on Instagram. <laughs> who recently received his and reached out and said that he preferred it over the brass, which coming from him was a pretty big deal. And he said he really liked the feel of it in the hand. And so I thought, you know what, maybe I should give it a chance. It is limited after all. And we know, all know how that goes. <laughs> so I figured if I didn't like it, I can always resell it. And here it is, and I think it has surpassed the brass in terms of favorites. This might end up being the ultimate favorite fountain pen. I feel like I need to be a little careful about making such a bold statement when I've only had it for a couple of days but it just feels like everything I want in a pen. So yeah, what will become of my beautiful brass? <laughs>
very nice feel to it. I have noticed that the body here is scratching from the cap, but honestly, it's, you know, it's a metal pen and we're just gonna be okay with that. This is going to get beat up with time as an everyday carry that I am sure it will become <laughs> because I am madly in love with this here bronze. And just one more time to give a little comparison with this steel. You can see they both have a textured body, but the steel texture runs diagonally and the striations on this bronze run parallel to the body. The steel looks so cold, so lacking in color in comparison to these other pens. And here we have the rose gold, and here we have the brass. So as far as weight goes, it is the heaviest of the metal pens thus far. Now, I'm excluding the Caveco Silver Sport because that just feels like it's in a realm of its own. Uh, it's a very, very expensive pen, and I don't know how many are available in the world or if there's even still some for sale, but they're, <laughs> they're kind of their own thing. So I don't really include the silver in the lineup of metal pens. And even though this one is a limited edition, it feels a little bit more accessible accessible to most fountain pen collectors. Anyways, it's a little bit heavier, but I don't, I don't notice that because there's something very, this is going to be hard to explain. I think it's the color because it's not so heavy visually. It's a little bit lighter and more airy, fluffy even, that it just doesn't feel cumbersome. Feels very nice to hold in the hand and very comfortable to write with and I could write for hours with this. Uh, I I love this pen. <laughs> Let's face it, I think it will, I think it is my favorite and I should just accept that this is my new favorite Caveco Sport. It is official. I'm just gonna say it. That's it. There's nothing more to, to it and <laughs> we'll see how it patinas over time. I'm curious to see if these striations smooth, in, smooth out at all with just everyday handling. Uh, and yeah, will it change colors? And if so, what will that look like? So that's it, really. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye. I just wanted to throw in a quick update. I have now had this bronze sport for a week and you can see there's some discoloration happening around the clip. And some discoloration happening under the cap as well as at the grip section. So you can see where I very consistently seem to place my fingers when I write. Still really enjoying this pen. Very glad to have it. That's all. Bye.